So how are math inputs different than text boxes or text inputs? Let's say you want to give students an opportunity to explain how they're arriving at their answer. So you ask them to type an equation in and then solve for x and, and submit that. Well, when we do that, I've once again created a sketch that has the, the image that I want students to work with. And I've asked them now to use an unlabeled text input. So they're going to give me what their equation is for solving this particular problem to figure out what x is, and then giving me the typical um, math input that we've been working with. So first of all, once again, we're going to tell the sketch that it needs to be read-only true. And we're going to label our unlabeled math input. This is slide three, so input three, or screen three. And we want this to be correct if the input three has a numeric value of 47. And so when we preview this and try it out, our students can type in 7x minus 12 plus 3x plus 2 should be equal to the 80 degrees that's on the outside. Sum of the two interior angles equals the remote exterior. And when they type 47 in, notice that we only see the dot. We don't see the actual check mark that we are expecting. The reason for that is because text input is so difficult to check, students have so many options in the types of things that they can express and the ways that they can express it, that dot is an indicator to let you know that you need to go back and look and see what your students' responses were and verify that visually. There's not a good way to check that within the computation layer itself. So you, no matter what you do, and we can't actually type read only true, it's not a possibility here. Um, but no matter what you do, if you do use a text input, you will need to manually go through and, and take a peek at your students' works to see what they've typed in there, um, because it won't tell you that you have the correct response, just that they've visited that slide or that screen and worked with it.